Hey guys, I'm going to model a artillery shell in Blender. Blender is totally free, by the way. If you want to try this out, you can go to blender.org, download it, and try it right now. First thing I've done is I've imported this image. You go to File, and you go to Import Image as Planes. And you see here, I go to Pictures, Shell, and there it is. Okay, so let's take this and let's rotate it. First, let's push 1 on the keypad so that we can see it straight on. Now let's hit R. Let's type in 90. Enter. G, Z. And drag it up here. Actually, that's too far. Let's zoom in a little bit. Let's go G and drag it about right there. Okay, I'm going to model it using an extrusion method, which isn't the best method for this, but it'll be fun to watch probably. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go shift a, and I'm going to add a cylinder. I'm going to scale it way down to match that first ring. Now I'm going to go scale, and I'm going to strain it to the z-axis by pushing z, and I'll squish it like this. I'll go grab z, and I'll put it right there. Let's go right front on again like that. Alright, that just about gets that first one. So let's hit tab to go into edit mode unselect it, hold alt, select the bottom ring, hit E Whoops. actually let's delete this first face first let's go into face mode by clicking right there and let's see alt A or let's see what selects everything I can't remember alt A deselect so alt A and cylinder so we're going to select just this face right here and we're going to go X and go delete only faces just like that we're gonna do the same thing on the top delete only faces just like that all right now we're gonna go back into the vertex mode and we're going to select that whole ring by holding actually let's do the bottom first let's hold alt and select this bottom ring you can see the whole bottom ring gets orange now we'll hit E for extrude and then we'll go Z for down or constraining the Z axis all right now let's go S for scale Let's go back to the front view, like that. That's pretty close, good enough for now. All right, so let's deselect, let's select this ring. Back to the front view. Let's go E for extrude, that was W. E, push Z, so it constrains the Z, and let's go about like that, and then scale it out, about like, about like that. Let's go G, Z, put it about right there. Go E. Z, S, E, Z, click S, now let's go E, Z, S, same thing again, E, Z, like I was saying, this isn't the best method, but it is one way to do it, and Z. Alright, so we've made it that far. Let's go ahead and E and Z, oops. Let's go grab Z, go straight up. Um, that looks fine. Let's go E Z. Let's just go in just a tiny bit. E Z. Let's just go. Oops. No. Let's go grab on Z. And just like that, just to give it a little bit of definition there, since this isn't really important. Easy and easy, easy. It's easy. G Z. That time it was G easy. Okay, now let's go E, and then let's hit Escape, Scale. Let's scale it straight in go G and Z up just a tiny bit and we're gonna go E Z E escape scale alright now we'll go up just a little bit again and then we're gonna go E Z S E S 
the oops now let's go G Z S and same thing E Z S it's kind of getting off of the print a little bit that's okay I might 3D print one of these I probably won't do anything with it actually I'll probably show you the, the better way to model this let's turn this light off and camera okay so now we'll go E Z come all the way up here Z or scale S or scale I mean uh, actually let's go G oops let's go G Z put that about halfway and scale it back up and then we'll go E Z scale almost there E Z scale E Z E um I'm gonna go G oops what we got going on here? Why is it turning out a lid? Oh well, that's okay. Let's go Alt. Let's go scale it in just a little bit. Grab it by Z a little bit. Go E, Z, and we'll go E for extrude, escape scale it out right there Oops. just like this let's go back to the front view let's go E Z oops let's go scale in like that let's do it two more times E Z scale E Z Scale. All right. There it is. Neato. Um, let's cap off this bottom now. We'll go Alt like that. Just like that ring. Hit F. Yeah. Put a face on it. All right. There it is. Cool. Let's um, turn off this. Let's give it. Um. Turn on a light so we can see. There we go. You see all those ridges? That's why I say it's not the best way to model it that way, but still, I mean, it, it, it works. Let's put a material on it. Let's put, uh, let's just use something out of the sample materials. We'll put anodized. Let's make it like it's anodized aluminum. So we're going to go to the cylinder, new material. Anodize, apply to selected. There you go. Um, we could go to right here. We'll make it more of a copper color. All right, let's go to the camera. All right, let's go to this light and let's let's make this light. This is kind of neat. Watch as I move this light. Ready? See how it changes the scene? Let's put it right above it. In fact, let's put it right on top of it like this so it gets really bright at the tip. And then let's go to the wattage of the light and turn it down. Okay. So from the camera's point of view, that's what it should look like. Let's, um, let's take our scene and scale it up like that so I don't have any blank spots and then let's go ahead and hit save might as well shell 1 save let's hit F12 and we'll render it out oops close that let's uh, turn this thing off in the render by clicking on those right there alright so now if we hit F12 and there it begins to render out it'll take a while to render out um, I don't know exactly how long. Maybe it's already done, really. Let's do it from a different angle. Let's open another canvas here. 
and let's take our camera let's grab our camera put it like right there and look down like that rotate around the Z like that let's look at it alright all right, just like that. Now let's take our light and let's just blare that sucker out like that. My graphics card is struggling because I'm recording this while I'm while I'm modeling it, so that's why all the tearing is involved. So that's why you're seeing some weird artifacts there. But um, actually, there's probably other reasons. the The main the, the thing that would fix it the best get all rid of all these ridges is to model it using a revolve modifier or as if it was a turning so basically what I'll do is I'll just draw the profile and I'll spin it around the axis and it'll be a turning bin instead of an extrusion but I thought you might think that was fun I hope you enjoyed see you later